Everybody already had their ticket scanned. Hi, uh, two for Dirt Woman. All right, I'm with Jerry. He's behind this documentary. You started this how long ago? 1999, we first started it. Worked on it for about two or three months, and then we all got busy making a living, and then came back when you contacted me in 2017. I don't think there's anybody like Donnie in the world. I'm the queen of Richmond. And to, to be so successful with all the challenges he had in his life, it's a pretty incredible story. We're here to see this film and find out about uh, Dirt Woman. He was authentic, and Richmond needed authenticity. Remember him from school and around town? VCU. VCU. I actually heard about Dirt Woman up in D.C. So we're excited to experience this. He's just always around. He's just always around. Street. Just the guy on the street, yeah. I remember him fondly sometimes and not so fondly at other times, but Donnie was a good guy. Why are you here? Uh, Dirt Woman, man. Dirt Woman uh, one time tried to sell me a cassette tape at the bus stop at like Carrie and Laurel, and she said, it's me talking to God. And I'm like, can you actually hear God's voice? She's like, of course, honey. How much? Five dollars. I didn't have five dollars to spare, but I would kill to have that now. Why did the city accept Donnie? Donnie was a pioneer. Donnie gave transgender people a voice. Dirt woman, going to heaven. Yeah, gotta be. What are they gonna say up there? Oh Lord. Here he comes. <laughs>